what is speed? That was superb, Feroz. The way you overtook Rakesh at the last moment, amazing. Thanks, Aditi. I almost felt like I was a bullet being fired from a gun. Hey, slow down, Tiger. Don't let this win get to your head, huh? What happened? What are you thinking about? Rakesh always wins in the 100 meter race. He runs really fast. I don't know what happened to his speed in 200 meter race. Well, at some point of time he must have gotten tired and that's when he slowed down and also that's when you overtook him, right? Yes, but how about my race tomorrow? It's a 400 meter race. What if I become tired and slow down? Ah, oh, don't worry. I'm pretty sure you won't. All you need to do is take care of two things. One, a good breakfast and second, just make sure that your average speed is more than Rakesh's and you're all set. What do you mean by that? Okay, let me explain. Okay. Let me give you an example. So, we came here by car, correct? Correct? So, when we started, we were driving at 40 kilometers per hour. But then we stopped and when we started again, there was some traffic. And then we were only driving at 20 kilometers per hour, right? Oh yeah, we weren't driving the car at the exact same speed throughout our journey. Exactly. So usually it takes us 30 minutes to get back home from school. But today it took us an hour. So wouldn't you say we were driving slowly? Yes, that's true. Even if we were driving fast for a small stretch, it's like the hare and the tortoise story. Exactly. So tell me, who was faster in that story? The hare was much faster, but he fell asleep, so he lost the race. Right, the average speed of hare was much lower than that of the tortoise, and that's why he lost the race. So when we talk about speed, we talk about average speed. And now, let me tell you what is average speed and how to exactly calculate it. Speed is a measure of how fast an object moves to cover a certain distance in a certain interval of time. But what happens when the speed of the object keeps changing? The annual school athletics race is about to begin. Millie and Simi are at the starting line of the 100 meter racetrack. On your mark, get set, go! And Simi is off to a flying start. She's already ahead of Millie and she has reached the 50 meter mark. Who was running faster during this stage of the race? Simi was running faster. She crossed the 50 meter line before Millie did. And the race continues. Though she got off to a great start, Simi seems to be tiring now. Millie is going ahead on full power and there she's closing in on Simi. And yes, she's crossed Simi and nearing the finish line and oh, we have a winner. Millie has crossed the finish line. What an unbelievable comeback. Who was running faster during the latter half of the race? Millie was running faster than Simi during this stage. She crossed the finish line first. Did you notice how Millie overtook Simi in the race? Though Simi started off very well, she gradually slowed down even as Millie began to run faster. Both Simi and Millie changed their speeds through the race. That is, they did not run at a constant speed. If the speed of an object changes, we can still work out the average speed for the total distance covered. Let's see what Millie's average speed was. We know that speed is calculated by dividing the distance covered by the time taken. To calculate average speed, we'll just have to divide the total distance covered by the total time taken. So, her average speed was 45 plus 55 meters divided by 6 plus 7 seconds, which is equal 
to 7.69 meters per second. Oh, this makes complete sense now. Although Simi started out running faster, Millie's average speed was higher, which is why she won the race. Just like your average speed was more than Rakesh's in the 200 meters. So in a race, even if I start slow, if I manage to build up the speed later, I could win the race. Yes, but you have to maintain your top speed and also make sure that your average speed is more than that of your opponents. I can do that. <laughs> okay, Viroz, let me give you a challenge now. Let's try something. Let's say the hare and the tortoise are competing in a 2 km race. How long do you think would it take for them to complete the race if their top speeds were constant? And let's also presume that the top speed of the hare was 20 km per hour and that of the tortoise was 1 km per hour. I'll calculate for the tortoise first. 1 km in an hour. So it would take 2 hours to complete 2 km. So slow. And what about the hare? Hmm, 20 kilometers in one hour. So two kilometers. How do I calculate this, Aditi? 20 kilometers take 60 minutes. So two kilometers are going to take six minutes. So the hare would have finished in six minutes and tortoise in two hours. Exactly. So now you see why it's not only the top speed that matters, but average speed too. Aditi, is there anything that always travels at the exact same speed? Well, most things, they change their speed as they move. Like, let's suppose you are moving at a certain speed for a certain distance, but after some point, you may walk slower or you may walk faster. What about machines? It depends on what sort of a machine it is. For example, luggage scanner belts at airports, lifts, and escalators, all of them move at the same speed. I have one. The hands of the clock. Right, but the hands of the clock are moving along a circle and not along a straight line. Now, anything that moves at a constant speed has uniform motion. A body is said to have a uniform motion when it covers equal distances in equal intervals of time. So, a car whose speed keeps changing is an example of non-uniform motion, correct? Absolutely correct. So, a body is said to have non-uniform motion when it covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time. Here is what we have learned.